This is a natural dietary supplement extract from tropical sorghum biocolor, researched, refined and confirmed as a powerful antioxidant. It will increase your blood to required levels and boost your immune system rapidly. Jobeline improves the fertility rate in both men and women. Jobeline protects and provides energy for mother and child all through pregnancy and at childbirth. Jobeline purifies your blood. It deters and effectively controls chronic heart diseases and blood related conditions like hypertension, arthritis, diabetes, sickle cell anemia, stroke and even HIV and AIDS. Daily intake of Jobeline protects the body from infections and guarantees a healthy and happy family. Jobeline has no known adverse effects. Produced by Health Forever Products Limited, Dikwe Olu Street of Obafemi Aulowawe Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. Available in sachets and capsules for adults and syrup for children in all leading pharmaceuticals nationwide. Consult your physician for prescription. 30 Capsule Jubilee now comes in a new park. Live healthy, live Jubilee. Today, we discuss a disease that has brought untold misery to the African race and their descendants. Many offsprings of African slaves in the United States of America often displayed signs and symptoms of sickle cell anemia. Given the name in 1922 by an American scientist, Vernon Maso, African medical literature is filled with stories of Ogbanjes and Abikus, the children who come and go, found to have been sickle cellers. This problem were traced to red blood corpuscles as described by the doctor. It's really pathetic that a sickness should affect no other cell but the red blood cells that transport the oxygen around the body and keeps us alive. What the scientists discovered was that this illness, this ailment which affects the red blood cells, changed morphologically the structure of the red blood cells. Let's look at what happened. First and foremost, the red blood cells, because of something I'll talk about later, took up the sickle shape. The sickle shape is like the sickle, um, the sickle that is the white man's cutlass. It's curved, it's curved like a C. Not only that, these red blood cells become rigid and stiff. They lose their elasticity. Not only that, they become sticky and therefore clump together. And because these red blood cells take up this sickle shape, becomes clumpy and stick together, quite often their movement is restricted. And therefore, while moving through the small, tiny blood vessels called the capillaries, they get stuck and disturb the blood flow to the tissues and organs, therefore causing the consequences we shall discuss about later on. And what could have caused this change in shape? But on a lighter mood, you find this kind of sickness, this sickle cell disorder, in areas where malaria is endemic. It is believed that in an attempt by the red blood cells to change their structure into such a structure which will be unpalatable for the consumption of malaria parasites, something happened in them. This is referred to as point mutation. Point mutation occurred in these red blood cells whereby two amino acids change their position, during which the um, amino acid called glutamic acid was replaced by another uh, uh, um, um, amino acid called valine. So glutamic acid replaced valine. As a result of this, the red blood cell became disfigured. Not only did it become disfigured, by the shape, its quality also became completely reduced. 
Now, it is these genetic defects that occurred which brought about this, uh, um, this, this, this sickling that they are named according. For example, you have the sickle cell C or S, or sometimes we still talk about, but very little percentage, fraction of them are of the type D or E, or in fact of the type called thalassemia, which is found more in the Mediterranean area. So in short, what we're talking about here is that point mutation occurred in these red blood cells in order to make the um, red blood cell less palatable to malaria parasites. The defective gene can be inherited by offsprings. Sickle cell disease will only manifest if the offspring inherited two defective genes. Because of the blockage of these little capillaries that supplies blood to the tissues and organs, we often notice growth retardation in these young children. Apart from that, because the blood vessels are equally blocked, we notice that insufficient oxygen flow to the organs and tissues arouses very painful crises in these young ones. And of course, this is what makes them very well known in the, uh, in, in, in the environment they live in. They are always weeping and crying of this painful crisis. Similar painful crisis occurs in the chest region because similarly of the blockage of these blood vessels. We call those acute chair, um, chest syndrome. Acute chest syndrome is when these sickle cell disordered patients cry because of the severe chest problems that they have. Another great problem that bef befalls these children is what we call uh, the splenic destruction. The spleen, as we know, is in fact the center, or let me call it the burial ground of dead blood cells. So when so many red blood cells are destroyed in a sickle cell disordered patient, we have this, the symmetry of the dead cells overpacked. And as a result of this overpacking, the natural function that uh, is normally meant for the spleen um, does not go on well. The spleen is known to be one of the big centers of immune system and buildup. And when it is occupied by so many dead red blood cells, it, 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 it uh, uh, reneges on the natural work that she should have done. So we have in these children also a drop in the immune system um, that the spleen should have done. What we need to do is to protect these fragile sickle cells with antioxidants which protects them against the oxidation that occurs to them. And like I've always said, when you talk about prevention of oxidation, the numero uno substance that you put uh, 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 in the line is jubilee because it's so easy to deliver. Once you give it Within a couple of minutes, the antioxidant is being ex uh, expressed because of its bioavailability. That is, it is easily absorbed, it is easily circulated in its effective form. Furthermore, we want to talk about substances that protect the wall of these sickle cells. Because once the wall ruptures and breaks open, that is the end of the show. So we talk about substances like zinc, magnesium, calcium, folic acid, which helps to protect the cells of this weak uh, uh, red blood cell. Two, you, um, three, you have to drink a lot of water. If you drink a lot of water, it will help to improve the circulation in a sickle cell disordered patient. Prevent and control malaria and all kinds of infection. That is why they should take polydrine daily or make sure that they don't fall into the wicked hands of malaria. We have told you that the spleen, which would have helped in promoting their sickle, I mean their immune system, will be down because of overloading of the spleen with dead red blood cells. Infections, look for the best antibiotics to give them to suppress the infection as soon as possible.